Hey guys, it's a uh, uh, Chicken Fries Gaming. Um, I am sick, so bear with me, guys. But <clears throat> all right, now, now y'all may ask, hey, w hey, this is a gaming channel. Why are you not doing gaming? Well, my PC is down, and my consoles are down. So. For the time being, and maybe throughout the rest of this channel's lifespan, it'll actually be, you know, gaming as in guys or girls, in, you know, and, and the toys, you know, like guns, knives, uh, tactical things, until I can get those up and running again. Uh, now, I bought this shotgun the other day. Uh, I think it was yesterday, actually, um, for 80 bucks, or actually less than 80 bucks, uh, if I round up 6 cents, it was $76, after taxes and all that, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, I picked it up really cheap, uh, it was, you know, uh, the sale, or the, uh, listed price for this fire farm here was, uh, sixty nine ninety nine. So I was like, you know what? I'll take a chance on it because it was sitting right next to one that well, at, well yeah, on the or in, well, actually how they had it set up. It was um uh, in the front of it. It was ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents, and then the one behind it was one hundred forty nine ninety nine. I'm like, yeah, screw that one. I mean, I like my guns, but I'm not paying 150 for a break action, guys. I don't care who you are or how much money that I'm making. I'm not paying that for a for a break action. Um, now, <clears throat> excuse me, but uh, now this firearm here is actually really good. I love it. Um, this is one firearm. That I actually really enjoy. Uh, it's got a 28 inch barrel, I believe. Uh, it's a CBC Model SB, uh, Brazilian made. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to show you the markings or anything because my phone, because again, you know, my phone is my recording device as of right now. Um, yeah, it, no. It's just, it, it won't zoom in. Um, I can try. Let's see. Let's see, prop that up. Because I'm on my bed. Right, let's do a little. Come on now. Focus in. Nope. It don't want to. I don't want to do it. Okay. Um. But yeah. Um. Now this is a like I said a CBC model SB break action single shot twenty gauge. <coughs> now this particular or well this model came in 410, 20 gauge, sixteen gauge, and twelve gauge. Alright, so, from a very light sh sh shotgun load, all the way up to a pretty heavy one. Uh, now granted, a 12 gauge is not very heavy. In this sucker, <clears throat> even a 410 kicks pretty good. For a 410, okay, um, it, it's because it's so light. I mean, come on. It's... Okay, that is... May sound really heavy, but it's not. It's not. It's not heavy. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, th this is very, very, very light. Um, now it was imported by FIE, which is a firearms import and export company, or L LLC or something like that. <clears throat> which, you know, that's a. Uh, from what I hear, was a great company, but they went out of business back in the nineties, and they imported guns such as the the Brazilian, uh, 
Okay, let me see if I can butcher the name. Um, it's on the other side here, so I will just flip it on over. Let's see here. By Campana Basara de Cartuchos. Translates roughly to uh, company, company of Brazil guns, I believe. Don't quote me on, on that because I don't know Portuguese. I know Spanish a little bit. Like I can get you, a little, like I can help you find a, a McDonald's if you're close to the Mexican American border. That's about it, guys. That's my limitations. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, anyway, like, but anyway, back to the to the firearm. Um, this is a really well made firearm. I'm not gonna deny it. Now, when they came out back in the eighties, and well, I think they might have came out prior to the eighties, but they were only imported through the eighties, maybe or, or early nineties. You know, through FIE. Now. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, um, this particular firearm is well made. I love it. It's one of the best guns I've ever owned. One of the best shooting guns. Um, maybe anyway, when, when, when they came out, they came out for like less than $100. <clears throat> yeah, that's back in the 80s, but... Today, a hundred bucks, that's like, about a hundred bucks, you know, maybe 130, out of the box, after your stamps and all that, or no, not stamps, <clears throat> your uh, sales tax and transferring fees and whatnot. I luckily didn't have a, a, a transfer fee, or if I did, it was really cheap. You know, Arkansas, uh, I don't know the laws on the transfer fee because I really don't buy firearms that much. Um, but uh, when I bought this beauty, and yes, she does have some battle scars, you know, but it's really nice. Um, like, for example, right here, she's got a little, oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, a good size nick there. On the other side, a really good size nick. Just didn't get it in, in the camera. You know, but which that actually looks a whole lot worse than what it actually is. It actually does not affect the structural integrity of the firearm through, through that area. E, 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 even though when it's fired, all that pressure's hitting that. Um, it actually does affect it all that much. <clears throat> and there's a little nick on this other side. Now, now there was a plastic piece. You can see part of it here that goes around this. Uh, that broke off like in the first like three shots. Um, but from what I'm hearing, it's not really needed. So, yeah. Like it's nice to have it. It it just makes it look nicer, but and it's a good spacer because that will probably wobble out so I'll have to keep tightening that down over time <clears throat> now um wait just a second guys make sure it's clear cause see nothing there uh right here is your uh I actually want almost a mag release uh your uh, b b barrel latch release right here. This little thing right here. Alright. Um, it's got an auto ejector right here. Uh, when I first got it, um, actually, just give me <laughs> first got it. <sighs> Come on.
that'll have to work. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, when I first got it, I actually didn't realize that this right here was the auto e e ejector. So I was loading up my shells. Not like that. I was loading them. So I can get this in there. I was loading them like that. But the no, no, because when that comes down, that that piece there will actually crimp part of the shell. So let's clear it. Shit. Uh, just give me a second, guys. All right, guys. Uh, I got the shell out. Um, uh, it. But yeah, that's what it will do to your shell. Um, <clears throat> see, I just bent the shit out of that rim. But you don't want that to happen. I actually got really lucky because I closed it because I couldn't get it. Because if it's like that, it won't fit over the ejector. So when I did that, I pressed it down. And I turned just a little bit so I can make a wider surface area. And then I closed it. Which is not safe, guys. But yeah, anyway, I did that. <clears throat> and then it apparently the auto ejector slid up underneath it and popped it right on out. So I'm very thankful for that. And yes, this shell is safe to use. Anyway, um, but yeah, so just make sure you don't go past that. You know, make sure that you're loading them. Uh, that you're loading them like that. You know, because because it'll now this is an external hammer, guys, so I can pull the trigger. It ain't going off. Pull that back, it will go off. So, I just gotta. Oh, okay, it didn't close. I'm glad. And show the flying. There we go. There's the show. Empty chamber. But yeah, um, I'll probably do a shooting video later on, guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, I really haven't done much facts of uh, uh, about the gun. Um, all right, it's got a 20 inch, 28 inch barrel. It's Brazilian made. <clears throat> the company that made it is CBC. Uh, the model is a model SB. Uh, I'm going to assume that means single barrel. Um, it's one shot reload, extra hammer, weird uh, barrel release, great gun, cheap price. P pick one up, guys. Um, now, now you'll find them in mostly pretty shitty condition, guys. If you are going to pick one up, but these things are cheap. I mean, I just happened to to see one. To see one, I mean, I fired fifty rounds from the first day that I got it, which was yesterday, and it's a great gun, guys. Great gun. Um, it's. I would actually put this thing up against some of the more popular brands, like Remington, Mossberg. Um. I would even dare to put it up against against a Benelli. It and I don't know if Benelli makes single barrels, you know, single shot break action barrels. If if they do, then yes. <coughs> now, of course, I'm not gonna put this thing up against a supernova. No, obviously the supernova is probably gonna win per shot. Uh, I'm not gonna say placement, but shot. Uh, well, what's the word? When you uh fire it, 
repetitively very fast. Yeah, um, yeah, that's it. So, but anyway, this is a great gun. If you find one, pick it up, guys. It You will not waste your money unless it's not usable. And even then, you can get parts really, really cheap. Fix it up, guys. Save a few more bucks. And you'll have yourselves a very reliable firearm. I'm not going to lie. It will be one of the best firearms you will have. Um, Sugar Gaming. Out. Have a nice day, guys.